Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Beyond Channel on YouTube again. So in this video, I am going to help you fix the problem with iOS 11.1.0 or 11.1.2. So the problem that people now they experience with iOS 11.1.0 is that when they have their device upgrade to 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 this iOS level they experience a you know constantly restart with their machine sometimes they just using the machine for three minutes and then it restart and or the within three minutes it also restart so how how to fix it and and when exactly does its problem appear inside the iOS well the problem is that this this is not the hardware issue it's a software issue it came from Apple when the developer created a bug inside and make it crash to their device and make it restart time uh, over time within three minutes and this happened around December 2 at 12 15 minutes it's a midnight time and from that time till now it's still the the, 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 the issue still exists and Apple haven't yet found a solution to fix it so here is some tip where you can bypass this you know circling the, the, the circling of the restart of your device so first of all all you have to do so let me show you that here it is I have an iPad iPad 2 and it is not running on iOS 11.1.0 but I'm going to do exact same thing as I have an iPhone or an iPad that run on 11.1.0 till or 11.1.2 so the step is that first of all you have to go inside setting if you run on an iOS 11.1.0 or 11.1.2 go ahead and get into setting make sure you do it as quick as possible before the restart process begin again so you go when you get inside setting go into general and then try to find the date and time so here you got date and time click on it and you will see that it is setting as an automatically so the date and time will be synced with the internet or the device and display the current date and time but we don't we don't want that because the issue is starting at December 2 around 12 and 15 a.m. in the morning so we gotta go ahead and disable the set automatically automatically and then we're going to click on the date below and configs it behind December 2 we can put it anywhere we want but behind December 2 I mean before December 2 so go ahead and put it like, like you know like November or September or October like that and then you click back and then try to restart your device one once you have restarted your device everything will be working fine but remember that to never update the date and time again until you have the new update from Apple the iOS update from Apple that fixed this problem so this is how I am going to fix this problem and thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video thank and bye for now